Hello everyone uh, and welcome uh, to this morning's Wit Surprise call. So we are going to jump on our list of contacts on Skype uh, and we are going to call a pro. Oh man, this always happens. I put it on my phone and then I forget to turn the volume down. Every single time you think I'd learn. Okay, so that's there. All right, so it's a whole setup. I've got to look at my phone, I've got to look at you guys. Okay, so let's jump on Skype. Hello to Julie Deslodge. Thank you for tuning in. Let's have a scroll through here and have a look at who we can call. All right, here we go. It is. Uh, hello. Hello. Katie Z. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy seeing you. I know. How bizarre to see you on the interwebs. How are you? I'm doing fairly well. How are you? Um, I'm doing all right. I'm just kicking back. I've got my kombucha and I've nice. got an omelette that I'd like to say I prepared earlier, but Brett prepared it for me. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for my mom to make me dinner. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's the point of being at home if mom doesn't cook you dinner? So. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I actually just introduced you as Katie Z, but should we be saying Katie Z? Well, I guess you should be. Ah, yes. <laughs> but we, ah. we should not. Although... You know, it's funny when I now when it's spelling out the name, like it's so much easier for me to be like, like when you need to when you're at the, talking to the credit card company or whatever, and you're like Zafir, Z A F E R E S. I'm like, I'll say Z because to me that makes more sense than being like Z as in zoo. Oh. But but then nobody knows what Z is, so <laughs> it's a complete fail. <laughs> I love that it's an actual process, um, and you've actually just. <laughs> answer the question before I could ask it was the the correct pronunciation of your last name is Zephyrs, right? Zephyrus. I was oh, going to say, I'll let, I'll, I'll let the official person, uh, I don't know actually how to turn it. Oh, so um, we'll just that way. How do you do it? That's Tommy. Hi, Hi Tommy. <laughs> She is just uh, taking my name and making it popular for me, so <laughs> she still doesn't know how to say it. But <laughs> well, I figure I'll give it to the expert to, to pronounce it. So, ready, Tommy? I'm ready. Zephyrus. Zephyrus. Yes. Z a f e r e s. Oh, ooh. <laughs> emphasis on that yeah. that first e. Yeah, because everyone spells it Zephyrus. And I don't know, it's just from people saying it and then everyone spells it that way. And yeah. Oh well. All right. We've heard worst it. Worst things in life, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's official. Zafiris. 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 Like a pro. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Now if you can stick with it. Yes. Uh, we, we will do our absolute best. Um, now, what have we interrupted you guys doing? Um, just started, well, we're going to look really terrible at it, but I started doing a new puzzle. Literally might have four pieces together so far. Well, but let's see, one, two, three, four, like five, five pieces together. So we look really bad at puzzling, but we did just finish. My mom's showing. We did just finish. Oh. She doesn't want to be shown, apparently. <laughs> Put it down turtle. so we can see your face. Hi! <laughs> meet my mom. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. You too. <laughs> so my mom's been helping me to puzzle. And Tommy, this is his workstation. So he sits there and he's he's at either looking at... What are you doing over there? Uh, right now, nothing. <laughs> he's not doing anything. So Trying to sort out your Zwifting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we're new to Zwift today. Oh, oh We tried really? it for the first time. Yeah, so that was big for us. It was it was fun because I hate riding inside. I it just bores me to tears, but it was very engaging. I can understand why people like it, and I'm excited to like figure it out more because right now I really had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, right. And I was like, Tommy, what's like the etiquette? Because I knew he was watching YouTube's and asking all of our teammates and stuff like that. He does more of the research, 
and then I just kind of wing it. Yeah, I like it. You need you need a researcher, and then they just give you the condensed version. That's exactly how I do it. Except sometimes I, I'm not great at listening the first time at the condensed version. It takes me a couple tries. <laughs> did you see today they did a dinosaur run? Uh, I didn't. I saw I saw a promotion. I didn't see the actual dinosaur Very run. Funny in the little te- like. Did you partake? I did not. Uh, well, we don't have a treadmill, so we can't do any running. Um, but I did. Uh, yeah. I've seen some little clips of people in like little animations in the T Rex dinosaur. <laughs> it should be like it's running like this. <laughs> but it's so. funny because when when they first put it, I thought that they were doing it in actual dinosaur suits on treadmills, and I was like, wow, like they got like T Rex suits for this, and then I realized. Yeah. It's virtual. Well, do you know <laughs> Which what? is still fun. I I thought the same. I, like, I knew it was virtual, but I thought that some people were actually going to be doing it in... Um, oh, hang on. Someone has just tuned in and said that Jesse Thomas did it in an actual suit. So he has got... Okay. A... <laughs> All right. yes. Well, I will have to check into that because that is, that's hilarious. Yeah, that is mad respect. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Um, Now... Five, you said you have got five pieces of the puzzle together out of how many? How many? Uh, <laughs> 1,000. 1, <laughs> but, but I would like to put a time frame on how much, how far into it we are. We're about 10 minutes in. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's, that's all right. That's pretty good, right? That's, it's not like we're days in. We did that in one day. Yeah. Yeah. We did our turtle one in one day and that was, that was 550 pieces. So we're upping our game. All right, so you've got you've got two days to get this one done. Yeah, we can do it. Although last night I like stayed up way too late for puzzling just to finish it, but that's okay. <laughs> Is puzzling a thing that you've just picked up since um, kind of going into some form of lockdown, or has this always been a tradition? Um, I really like it, but I forget that I like it, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, like, <laughs> so I, I don't go out of my way, but then like when I go, get to someone's house and there's a puzzle, I can sit down and I just enjoy doing it. Or like Tommy's mom also enjoys having puzzles. So yeah, she'll do the same. So yes, that is my frequency. Okay. It's not really travel friendly. So. Uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> so. not at all. <laughs> But okay, so here's a puzzle etiquette question. If you have, ready, okay. If you have turned up <laughs> to someone else's house and see a puzzle, and just start doing it, is that is that a bit of a no no, or is it considered helping a team effort? Oh, uh, I would consider it helping, right. but I think there would be certain people that I would ask. But over the majority, if it's like family, I would just. Cons- no matter what their reaction was, I would consider it yeah. <laughs> me helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. We're getting some people uh, tuning in. Natalie passed. Yeah, yeah. What is the etiquette? <laughs> What's, what does everyone else say? <laughs> yeah, what does everyone else say? What is the puzzle <laughs> etiquette when you rock up to someone else's house? Uh, which, I mean, I don't think is going to happen all that often. Like how many people do puzzles these days? But I, I imagine the sales have gone through the roof now. No. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you heard me, but I was just saying I, I don't imagine there would be too many people that we know who have got puzzles just laying around the house. However, now maybe puzzle sales have gone through the roof, but now you can't actually turn up to other people's houses. Yeah. I was going to say, I actually, I do think the puzzle sales have gone through the roof just because on Amazon I was, like, putting them in my cart, like, like a few days ago, a few weeks ago, thinking like, oh, I, I'd want this one if I got one or if I felt like we were going to be like in our house a lot. And they just kept disappearing. But I got here and my mom had, we had, we have quite a puzzle collection. So no, I- this one's brand new though. We opened the box. Well, not brand new as in we, we found it and it hadn't been opened yet. And oh, and the turtle too. Yeah, right. Um, it's- we were, we were prepared. Yeah. <laughs> I love that this entire conversation is based around a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's the whole point of these uh, chats is to not chat about the doom and gloom that is COVID-19 and just 
just talk shit with mates online. Um, now, Natalie has just said, depends which end you're on. You're helping if it's not yours. Um, I. Uh, oh, she has said, if you turned up to her house and started helping okay. with her puzzle, she wouldn't be happy. I will ask her if I go to her house. And I'll put her on the list list of asking when you're when you're allowed to do it. Uh, someone has just said that Lego is just as much fun as well. I, that's probably a good point. Lego. I can imagine Tommy doing Lego. Well, both of our nephews are really into Legos right now. Our what are they? Five and seven year old nephews. So. They won't come out of, out of their room for their Legos. And they also like these, um, I don't know, they're like Lego movies or oh. what is it, Tommy? Like Lego YouTubes or I don't know. It's not the, not the like, it's like instructional, like how to build it. Oh. Instead of like we would use instructions, they're like watching it. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Well, there's TV shows now called Lego Wars, which I don't even know what well, that actually is. Maybe that's what they were. Yeah, maybe. I'll have to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes i'll find out ask, i'll ask the experts yeah yeah the, yeah you stick to your lane swim bike run and uh yeah we'll get yeah. we'll get the kids kids in for the lego experts okay yeah <laughs> um now so you said you you guys uh just recently showed up at your parents to sort of go into a bit of a lockdown isolation type of type of style is, is that correct yeah, well, we were in, um, so we were in Florida, in Claremont, Florida, to do a team camp with uh, Joel Filial and all of our squad, and um, we got we got there as planned and, like, started settling in, and then everyone else settled, like, everyone else came to the camp from everywhere. Some of them even changed their flights um, because of the restrictions that had started being started being put into place and then things just started changing so quickly that people started then making all of their flights to go home or back to the, their respective countries so then uh for the last few days i guess like last week but uh was it last week Tom? i guess like like last week we were basically me tommy and vendela frontover from the czech republic yeah we were the only ones left of our <laughs> of our entire like it was going to be like 20 some people yeah um and so ultimately, Vendela decided to fly back to Prague, and then Tommy and I decided to drive up to Maryland, which is a 15-hour drive. We did it in one day. I drove 10 hours. Tommy drove five hours. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, we left at noon, got in at 2.30 a.m. to my parents' house. Wow. And uh, we, we've we settled in here since, mainly because we, like, it's a place that we know we can be for an indefinite amount of time, whereas, like... <laughs> The houses we have in Claremont are through April 14th, but we might be in the similar situation still. I mean, I hope not, yeah. but it's nice to be settled in a place you consider home. Yeah, absolutely. And your mom cooking dinner for you nearly every night, right? It's a bonus, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've only been here three days to mooch so far, so... <laughs> that three days and who knows how long to go <laughs> exactly so okay so mom is what's for dinner tonight yeah what is for dinner tonight mom can i put you on it no okay i'll leave it <laughs> chicken and vegetables Ooh, what kind of yeah. chicken chicken maryland <laughs> that would be really yummy yeah <laughs> it's a barbecue <laughs> barbecue chicken just oh, as nice. good no, nice. I'm a big fan of barbecue sauce. So, Mum is um, coming to the party with with cooking dinner. Uh, what, what's Dad Dad doing to uh, entertain or help out? Well, you just missed his concert. Unfortunately, uh, he had some he had some nice music going on with some loud singing. Um, it has now the volume has decreased since the call has started, <laughs> <laughs> and I think he. Also, he's not ready. He's not ready to give his performance in front of everyone yet. But right, it, it, everyone's really missing out. Really is missing out. Can he? Can he carry a tune? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's vouching for him. My mom's saying yes. I would say you can definitely tell the difference between the singer and my dad. <laughs> oh, she has sad face. Oh, that's true, love. <laughs> True love sticking up for her husband. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so 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 dad's providing the singing entertainment, mum's providing the cooking. What what are you and Tommy bringing to the party? Well, I'm making this puzzle. All the food. Yeah, we brought oh, all actually, so much food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a ping pong thing. Oh, we did. Okay, see, I didn't even I didn't realize yeah, how now. much we brought to this. <laughs> all right. All right. So besides our personalities. Yeah, besides our personalities. Tommy brought well, we brought Tommy bought a ping pong table in Claremont, Florida, thinking he would have lots of opponents to play. And oh. then everybody left before he even got the ping pong table. So he had actually, Vendel is the only one he played with besides the, himself when he put the, <laughs> put the thing like up oh, so he yeah. could just play back and forth. Yep. I never actually have played with him yet. And so then we, we decided that we were going to come up to Maryland and we were looking at like, cars and things to rent and so we rented a van so that his ping pong table also made the trip and is now here for brilliant um entertainment it hasn't been put together quite yet but so we brought that and then we also brought so everyone of all of our teammates also all went shopping like grocery shopping before they went or before they left so then we had all of their groceries so we brought like 15 people's groceries up to my parents house so we've got quite the food uh, allotment here yeah <laughs> that's amazing that worked out reasonably well for you it, it did it was about the only bonus <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely hey before I let you you guys go I wanted to uh so a couple of weeks ago we went away for a weekend um and we stayed in a tiny house and oh yeah yeah and I thought of you guys so you you guys filmed as part of a tiny house series, is that right? Uh yeah, it was called it's called Tiny House Nation. Yeah, right. So you where can people find that? Uh good question. <laughs> Google <laughs> I wish Google sounds like a good source. <laughs> Tommy we only would, watched it once when it came out. Yeah, five it years was ago. like <laughs> yeah, like five years ago we watched it. But I don't know if it's still like. We will find it. I don't know. Yes. Okay. How did you? How long were you? How long did you stay? So we stayed two nights, and I feel like sort of the second day, or or even the, the third day, <laughs> is when. But it's when we started to find our groove, like you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so at first we're trying to figure out how, how it will all go together. So I kind of wish we stayed for a week because I reckon we would have really got into a bit more of a rhythm. How did you guys yeah. go? We had a pretty good rhythm because Tommy would, I, Tommy would be in the top of the house, like where the loft is. And then I always would like, if we wanted to hang out separately, <laughs> I would hang out by like in, we had like a little back room, like little living room. Yeah. And then also for like eating in the kitchen, we would definitely do kitchen one at a time. There's no way we were like both cooking at the same time. And we would just use, there was one little, um, like, ah, what's it called? Like little table part, but yeah. mostly we would sit on the steps to eat or like, and also that's where the heater was. So, oh, <laughs> so just... it was warmer. It was warmer on the steps. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh man, it was we we loved it. Um, the hardest thing was having, uh, and I didn't really think it through that well, but having like an eighteen month old who would not sleep, wants to move, yeah, <laughs> would not sleep, and then wanted to move. So we just just kept throwing her outside, and but then we're on this really steep hill, so she'd just keep falling over. So anyway, <laughs> it was an adventure. Um, yeah, for us, we really like the tiny house, but the location was a bit far from everything. So, like, this year we chose to stay somewhere else that was more conducive to, like, training. And yeah. we could, like, walk to the pool from our house and things. So, right. um, it's actually, we have someone else living in our tiny house right now. Oh, cool. His name's Dave. His yeah. name's Dave. <laughs> yep. Dave, <laughs> Dave sounds like he was made to live in a tiny house. I think he really likes it. Well, nice. most of it. Yeah. He doesn't like the toilet so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's another yeah. <laughs> um hey, just just before I let you go, I do are you wearing pajamas? I am. I like it. I love it. I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas. Bri oh they are too. Brilliant. Yeah. Are they flannelette? It's, it's, yes. Excellent. They are super comfy. Excellent. Comfort is key, particularly right now 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm mainly in my pajamas. I mean, it's 6 p.m. Well, it's after 6 p.m. here now, so I feel like it's fine, but I'm probably in my pajamas anytime other than when we're training. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's the only way to uh, rest and recover. I like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I'm going to love you and leave you, let you go to your barbecue chicken, um, and let's check in again and see how that puzzle is going. Good luck with it. What is Actually, what is it going to turn out to be? Ooh. Mount Rainier. I hear it. it. Oh, wait. Isn't that Italy? North Cascades National Park, Washington. Didn't you post one that said Italy? Yeah, this one's oh. Italy. It didn't win. Ah. The mountains won. <laughs> I did an Instagram post on which one we should do. Oh, I missed so that one. So people voted and the, the mountains won. The mountain, mountains are hard. Landscapes are hard, hey. Well, yeah, we so far not so good for us. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just wasted 20 minutes of your puzzling time. When you could have been, I know my mom's getting ahead. Wasted. Oh, oh, so it's a no. competition. No, it's not. Actually, it was really fun because last night when we when it was like eleven thirty at night, we both put in the last pieces of the puzzle right together. Oh. So. <laughs> what a special moment! <laughs> you got to take the little wins with the big ones, don't you? <laughs> how does it that? Was a tie game. How does that compare to say? being a world champion like <laughs> puzzling yeah winning the puzzling close same same it's it's so so close that i i just i don't know i just can't Tough can't one. come up with a good answer for that <laughs> <laughs> too close to call <laughs> uh katie Z, thank you for um allowing us to surprise you during your puzzling um family time Say, please say, because your mum's not going to get on the screen, please tell her I said goodbye and your dad, they won't get on screen. There she is. There she is. (laughs) Bye. Can we say goodbye to Tommy as well? Ready? Oops. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Thanks so much. It was great to see you guys and take care, look after each other and, um, yeah, stay healthy. We'll speak to you soon. Ah, so good to see you. Bye. See ya.